over. Here we have Unity 5.0 default scene. One game object with an animal script attached to it. The animal script contains an array or a list of strings. Let's take a look at that. Uh, we're going to um, show you in the scripts how to take this array of strings and turn it into a reordable list in an editor window. Okay, so here we have our mono behavior with a list of strings, which shows up as an array normally does in the editor. And here we have an editor window to display the list of strings in a reorderable list. So let's expand this, and we can add an element, and as we add an element, it's updated so everyone likes cats I heard so as you see the editor window is also updating if we change this to two then we have two cats how about mice yeah and let's add another one um, ant so we hit play and the script said just to sort the list and we'll see them both sorted. Okay, here they are sorted. And the reorderable list does offer a few benefits. As you see, I re I'm reordering them here and this is almost impossible to do with the normal array display. Let's go through the editor script. Here we have a class defined editor window. It inherits from editor window. We define some constants for text and padding. We have some static fields. One for the window size, the size of the help rectangle, the size of the list rectangle. The rectangle I will show you now if I Let's delete this item and let's open up our window and we can't find an animal component in the scene. So if we add that component back, then we're, we're good. So we have a, uh, this is because I deleted it in the scene and I had the window open. Just make sure of that. Let's close that and let's delete. And we can open, and as you see, no errors. If I undo, now it's back. And I open the window, there we have. The error was just because I deleted the object with the editor window open without any checks in the script. But here's the basic script. So we've defined our rectangles to draw and our size of our window. We initialize our window, that's the menu item we set our window to the size that we want and here's our two fields for one for the serialized object and one for the reordable list so we find the object in the scene if we do have the object we create a serialized object out of it and you can create a serialized object out of any uni unity object including mono behaviors here we um, initialize our reordable list. We draw a quick header and we define how we want our elements to be drawn. We add some top padding and define the height and we draw the reorderable list. We find the serialized property on the reordable list and we get the index in the array that's being passed in here. There's all sorts of other uh, parameters that you can check against, but uh, none of which are necessary for this particular application. So then we draw a serialized property. This is a method that's available with every editor window. 
so when the inspector is updated it will repaint the window this is not called very often certainly less times than on GUI is called and in on GUI we check to see if our serialized object is null if it's not null we pull the properties from the serialized object we use the reorderable list do list now there's two items in here do list do layout list and do list now if you're doing an editor override um, creating a custom editor this may be the one you, you want to use if this is automatic uh, layout and drawing if not you can um, use this for property drawers and in our case for the editor window so after those changes have been made we push them back into the serialized object and here's our help um, I don't know what you call this a help box if uh, our serialized object is no so that's how you get the an editor window to draw a reorderable list um, it's you can also use the reorderable list as a side note to draw um, a common or regular list of objects it doesn't have to be um, a serialized property as you see this definition for the override number two it takes the regular I list of elements and just give it the type the benefit to using the serialized objects and properties you get all the stuff in the back that you know that they provide from unity the undo the redo the um, the bolding on uh, prefab changes and those things so uh, you can do it either way but um, it would be advantageous to use the uh, serialized objects and properties so now after we've drawn our our window defined how to draw our window this is the result so we're just using elements here to draw we use the serialized property and it's gonna just mimic what the array has to offer you can also define what name you want to pass in and and all type of stuff so quickly let's um, do that so as we're drawing our property field here we can just add in a label let's see which override allows for that so this is the override we're gonna use number three so let's get um, what are we gonna call this animal name animal element animal label we'll do this here in line because we're gonna need to use the index so we could identify the animal so we draw a GUI content and a string format would be ideal in this case as we're gonna need the index and the name so here's our animal and here's our index and we pass in the index now this label we can pass it in here GUI content is pretty nice to use I'm sure it's a class but you can also add a tooltip and images and other things to your display so now that we have our animal label let's save that and get back into the inspector in unity and see what we've got okay so now the windows updated you see we have animal one animal two and animal three and if we arrange the list everything's updated as we expect so that's how you get a reorderable list in an editor window and keep it updated and in sync with the inspector cool all right that was